Hey guys, this is Sean Crawford with Rainwater Management Solutions. We're in uh, Blacksburg, Virginia today. We're at a big uh, apartment complex, and I'm actually in the basement of this apartment complex for a rainwater harvesting system. Uh, this is a 20,000 gallon rainwater harvesting system. They're using it for uh, toilet flushing, laundry washing, irrigation. Uh, the customer loves the rainwater system because it actually saves him a lot of money. And, um, he's done it on two other buildings, apartment complexes in Blacksburg, Virginia. This is the biggest one he's done yet. Um, he just keeps going with all the new construction, all the new buildings he's doing. As you can see here, you can see the vortex filter coming in behind me. That's the inlets from the uh, downspouts all feeding into the basement. Let me switch it back around here. We've got all this feeding in. You can see the other vortex filter way in the background back there. We've done a bunch of, there's a bunch of equalization lines in here. That way all these tanks can equalize and act as one 20,000 gallon tank. We're kind of crammed for space in here, so. As you can tell, there's a bunch of pipes running in and out. From our vortex filters, we have, we have a clean water inlet going into the tank. We have that, have that feeding down into the smoothing inlet down in the bottom of the tank. Um, we have equalization lines here as well. As you can see, those are two inch equalization, equalization lines. We have an overflow on each tank. And then we have this suction line here with a floating filter inside the tank at the bottom going into our booster pump. And then this is our RMS skid mounted system right here. Let me see if I can back up and get a good view of it. I'm gonna come from this angle, but you can kind of see the, the booster pump in the background. We've got this first filter, that's a 50 micron filter, one micron filter, and then we have a UV light back here for sterilization. Since this is going back in the building, it's recommended to use a UV light for disinfection. Let me go out here. We have a backup water valve here. So if they run out, and then also a manual backup valve, just in case if this one's down, if they run out of rainwater, then they can actually come here and uh, the valve will automatically turn over. We have a float switch inside the tank that tells this valve to, to open up and allow city water, domestic water, to come in and feed the system. That way they don't even know that they ran out of rainwater. And then as you can see here, here's our yellow pipe for reuse water going back up into the building and out. So this is kind of what we got here today in Blacksburg, Virginia. Hope you like it.